Hello everyone, this is Viral Shah, co-founder and CEO of Julia Computing. I'm thrilled to be here with all of you, with all the Julia community members, uh, as we have been for the last eight years for eight Julia cons. For those of you who do not know what Julia Computing is or who do not know me, let me introduce myself. Julia Computing focuses on three core missions. Our first mission is to work with the community to make Julia as good as it can be. Our second mission is to bring Julia superpowers to our customers through products like Julia Hub. And our third mission is to build a suite of high quality domain specific applications such as Pumas, Julia Sim and Julia Spice. Pumas is built in partnership with our uh, partners at Pumas AI for pharmaceutical modeling and simulation. Julia Sim is for multi-physics simulation and Julia Spice for circuit simulation. We have some exciting news to share. We are now partnering with the Williams Formula One team as, as an engineering partner, and we are excited to see what Julia Sim can bring to the world of high-speed racing. At Julia Computing, we recently raised a funding round of $24 million, and we have many positions open for talented engineers to come and work with us on products like Julia Hub and Julia Sim. Come work with us and make your dream about what technical computing should be a reality at Julia Computing and you can see the link on the screen for where you could apply. Thank you. Without further ado, I would like to invite my colleague, Matt Bauman, to demonstrate what Julia Hub looks like. Hello, everyone. Last year, I presented a pre-release vision of what we thought Julia Hub could become, and this year I'm thrilled to present the live version of that very product, available to be used and robust capabilities of cloud computing for the core of all things Julia. You can explore the system, build packages, register them, and run code in the cloud directly from your browser. The things I'll be looking at today are the individual level features, but we also have enterprise support where you can set up Julia Hub exactly as you need to for your team and business with access to secure data sets and cost centers and private packages. You can find more details on both the things I'm demonstrating today and our enterprise support at juliacomputing.com where we have deep dive webinars that go over these things in great detail. I'm going to log in and we can start looking at what's available today on juliahub.com. You can, of course, launch applications or look at running jobs or simply explore the ecosystem, looking at recently updated packages, details about them, their dependencies and such, or simply searching through the entire ecosystem at large to find the things you need. We have a new exploration section of Julia Hub where you can look at Pluto notebooks that others have published and made public to see what all the fun things that are available in the ecosystem. Here I have some sample code just from the Pluto team themselves to look at all the things that are available and you can see the rendered visual HTML here to explore and find all the great things there is to be found within the Pluto ecosystem. You can of course edit and run these notebooks yourselves directly on Julia Hub. But I wanna spend most of today's short demo looking at the in-depth compute features, and in particular, the ability to use large data sets. Here I have a ImageNet data set of the standard subset of images used to train ResNets to do image recognition as a 150 gigabyte data set. And I've registered that with Julia Hub as a versioned data set. It's private to me, but I could potentially make this public to either my team or Julia Hub at large. Where this becomes particularly powerful is how it interfaces with our compute ecosystem, where I can launch a Julia IDE either with a GPU to do some interactive testing of the uh, GPU compute itself, or with a CPU to just do some editing and working with it. So I can start this application to be able to enter in to Julia Hub. Once it's available, I can connect to it to dive directly into the VS Code interface. I can make this a little bit bigger so everyone can see, and you can see I'm launched directly into a code folder that has all the work that I've been doing in Julia Hub. Here I'll go into this ResNet demo and find the driver script for doing this training across the ImageNet dataset. 
And the great thing here is that it is identified directly by name in my code. I can go in and explore this uh, lazily where datasets will just create a listing of that, kind of like a file directory, only directly in the cloud and, and lazily out of core, where I can then index into that data set with a, a path like object and then batch it together and run through that in a distributed fashion. And where this becomes particularly powerful is I can connect back into Julia Hub once again to set up an ad hoc cluster of potentially GPU machines that can churn away at this task in the manner I need to in order to get these results back. We'll automatically authenticate using my username, and then we'll be able to start a distributed job. So in this case, I want to start a distributed GPU job with a beefier V100 GPU and a Julia process for each node. So that way each Julia process gets its own GPU. I can set up the particular number of nodes that I want to work with and use the current file that I'm looking at as my main driver script. Now I can go down, see an estimate of my cost. I know that this will run about three hours or so and I can start my job. This will run a few checks, make sure that it can run it and then submit it to the cluster. Now that it's successfully submitted, I can go back to the Julia Hub website, go to my compute job list, where I can see this exact ResNet demo. And you can go in and see here is that submitted job. And I can even filter back to see other runs of that same job by that same project name. And like any good cooking show, instead of waiting for this to complete, I can go back to a prior run where I have similarly spun up, say, 13 nodes, each with that V100 GPU. You can see some information about the outputs that I've logged for my own note taking. And importantly, I can download the results. This is the saved BSON file of all the network weights, in this case, about 100 megabytes of weights that are available for me to use and explore interactively. Now, what makes this particularly fun is I can go back to our Pluto compute and begin working with Pluto.jl directly here. So we can jump in to a Pluto notebook running on Julia Hub that I've already written that uses the same Julia Hub API to get that same jobs table where we can now filter by the completed jobs within a certain time and date. And then by clicking that radio button, we download the trained weights from that run, load them into our session, and then we need some input to run it against. Well, we can use the same trick that Fonz did from JuliaCon last year and use our webcam. And so take my picture, and that is the input for our model. And as we scroll down, you can see that we run the model. It already thinks that I'm a pretty certain a Pomeranian. Of course, there's no matte label here, but you can see this and there are the model outputs. A great fun way of introspecting this. We can take another picture. And there you can see the weights dynamically update, dynamically change, take another, and you can have a lot of fun working with this. So that is using Julia Hub for Pluto visualization of a large machine learning model. And we think this is just a fun way of working with your data here. To complete the Julia Hub story, we need to talk about deployment for both applications and APIs. And to do that, I've swapped over to the Julia Hub Enterprise server for our partners at Puma's AI. And there, they've developed a React-based application that's backed by Julia workers and backed by the exact same architecture that powers the Julia IDE and Pluto notebooks, and it's called NCA. And NCA is short for non-compartment analysis, and it's a standard workflow that pharmacometricians do to analyze you know, how a drug diffuses through the body. And we can open up an existing project. You can add a, a CSV file with your data here, or we can grab an example data set that describes how a drug has diffused through a bunch of subjects. By mapping the column names to their expected you know, meanings, 
uh, we can actually run an analysis in a very stereotyped way that then graphs all of the uh, individuals in the study. We can flip through them and even change some of the data points here. But each change, we need to describe why we changed that. So that way, when we go to the final report, we can back up our decisions. By generating the report, we can get all the summary statistics, right? And this is running Julia in the back end to gather all this data for us and, and put it together. And finally, we can export this, for example, to a report that then is generated. We download and we can open up. And here we have a 50 page PDF that includes all of those analyses that we did from that simple data set. So that's how you can complete the loop here by creating very immersive, full-featured applications backed by this Julia Hub architecture. And that's Julia Hub. We see it at Julia Computing as our platform for growing powerful systems across many domains and, and encourage you all to try it out at juliahub.com. Thanks, Matt. That was a wonderful presentation. I would now like to move on to demonstrating some of our simulation capabilities. You already saw the Puma's uh, video that uh, Dr. Vijay Ivaturi, uh, one of our co-founders at Puma's AI, um, talked about. Here's now Chris Akakis, who's going to show what Julia Sim uh, is all about. Julia Sim is a machine learning accelerated modeling and simulation platform built by Julia Computing. It integrates with the best tools of the Julia open source ecosystem, including packages like modeling toolkit and differential equations, and extends them to give all of the necessary components for industrial scale problems. You can learn more about these open source tools from the Simulating Big Models with Modeling Toolkit workshop that we just ran at this JuliaCon. The recording is available on YouTube. Here, I am showing the circuits module from the Julia Sim standard library to accelerate the workflows that we demonstrated in the workshop. I pulled in the necessary components from the standard library and used the connect statements to generate the composed model. The simulation is then ran on the Julia Hub cloud compute platform in a way that can automatically scale depending on your compute needs. This entire system is an interactive modeling framework, and so you can easily check things like what your current equations are and use the simplification techniques and more easily debug what you're working on. Julia Sim comes with a lot of proprietary model libraries. So here now I'm showing the HVAC.jl library, which includes components for high performance simulation of air conditioning models. We can create customized libraries for new user engagements. If you're interested, please contact our sales team and we can discuss the terms and go forward with that. What sets Julia Sim apart though, other than its base speed, you know, already being faster than other competitors in this area, is its ability to automatically integrate machine learning into these simulation workflows and accelerate them a whole other order of magnitude. Here I'm showing the circuitization GUI where we can upload FMUs generated from tools like Modelica and then specify the space over which we want to build the machine learning surrogate. Here, we're gonna use the continuous time echo state network and I'm just tweaking a few parameters. And then what this will do is it'll generate an approximate model by sampling the simulation of the FMU and generate a diagnostic report of its accuracy. We've already shown that these machine learning surrogates can accelerate your simulation speeds by around 10X to 100X over leading Modelica compilers. Julia Sim has many other new tools currently in development. So here I'm showing a graphical user interface of the upcoming Puma's QSB environment powered by Julia Sim. It allows for quickly building graphical representations of chemical reaction networks, which can then be directly simulated through the Catalyst and Modeling Toolkit.jl tools. This will soon be integrated directly into VS Code environment in a reactive form so that it automatically generates Julia files that you can interact with, you know, and, you know, click in the GUI, click in the Julia code, go back and forth, similar to a workflow like Pluto.jl. GUIs for other domains like Acausal Modeling are coming in the near future. Thank you for watching, and if you're interested in any of these tools, please get in touch. If you're interested in any custom developments that are in this area of modeling and simulation, please get in touch. Julia Sim is still young and can definitely be molded to the needs of our customers. Thank you very much. Thanks, Chris, for that amazing video on Julia Sim.